7.62 millimeter full metal jacket. Word on five, Howard. The usual barrel length's 30 inches. This one has an extra 44 magnet, the most powerful handgun in the world. Anything else? AK-47, the very best there is. You know your weapons, buddy. Hello, dudes, dudettes, and non-binary folk. We are Gun Game History, the only show on the World Wide Web that brings real facts to the fake guns in your favorite digital media. Hosted by the dynamic duo, Dylan, your resident history nerd, and Teo, the tech boy, this is a weekly show where we take a shallow dive into the featured firearms in The Game of the Week. We hope you're entertained and educated by this episode, and without further ado, let's get loaded. We gotta sample that laugh. All right. Hitting resume in three, two, one. Sorry. Yo. Your batteries are batteries low. Batteries are oh low. God. That's fine. Are we recording? All right, we we're are back. recording. We're live. What's up, people? We're switching up the uh, the controller situation. This real is quick. the dude, aka Keenan. Yep. This is uh, this is part two of the second episode of Battlefield One: Gun Game History. I'm Dylan. Keenan already announced himself. <laughs> Teo's over there trying to mess around with some controller making the business. technicalities work. Um, this episode is brought to you by Liquid Raisins. Um, Liquid raisins, raisin juice, or as I like to call it, raisin hell. Um, it's uh, some really cheap rosé mixed with some Saint Germain's. Um, it does taste like raisins. If you guys have a chance to get some cheap rosé and a bottle of Saint Germain's, I suggest you try it once and then never try it again. Yeah, unless you really like the taste of cold liquid raisin. You know, it's a. Uh, it's all right. This is terrible, but I'm going to keep drinking it. It's bringing I me back to third this. grade when I, I used to drink to alcohol. So bad. Third grade? No, I didn't drink alcohol when I was in third grade. Everybody wishes, though. Um, I, yeah, you know. Um, this episode is also brought to you by the kumquat tree outside my house. Yeah. It is delicious and has provided me with kumquats for you know, many years. Yeah, you're welcome. Kumquats the are the uh, the strangest fruit. <laughs> it's like a tiny orange that you eat in totality. Living adjacent to a kumquat tree? No, for the fact that I monkeyed my way up that tree. Oh, yes. Thank you. That is yeah. delicious. Yeah, thanks also. for forgetting. I appreciate yeah. your, yeah. your, your monkey. Starting the show off with beef. Way to go, Teo. <laughs> right on. Very you should have nice. just yeah, fucking just served some Where's fucking hot beef, roast, bro. Right Where's here. the beef? Yeah, anyway. So well, here we go. We're back. You got the uh, little like uh, carbine Luger thingy yep. still? Got some. Uh, what? Just try to shoot some rats. That's what I was gonna say. What'd that rat do to you? Are you gonna eat it? If you shoot it, you better eat it, boy. Come on. Come on. We're not here trying to shoot vermin. We're trying to shoot human beings. We're not here trying to shoot vermin. We're trying to shoot German. That's right. <laughs> you got it. Come so on. So much better. <laughs> Dad jokes for days, baby. Okay, Shit. nice puck of the grenade. I'm so bad at this game. I'm, so, I'm just so bad at this game. I, I apologize. Oh, said. You know, I really wonder how many kids have never shot a gun before, but if you handed one to them, they would know how to line up the sights because they played so many times. Uh, in this day and age, probably most. A lot of them, yeah. right? Uh, except for probably, like, you know, those, you know, few and far between hippie kids whose parents are like, N -uh, no TV. Dude, yeah, just, just play The Sims. Yeah, play with a stick. Yeah, play with stick. That's how my parents were <laughs> until I was, like, 12. <laughs> you just get sticks, no video games. And then I was like, I'm playing fun video games. <laughs> I mean, you got German playing all over the place. Man. You gotta pick these dudes up. There you go. Bro, I don't even. I don't, honestly don't even care. Like they don't feel like a threat to me. I should have turned the difficulty up. Uh, See what no, I mean? We're not here to have a hard time. No, this. Yeah. All right. you know, we're just displaying what these guns can do. Yeah, you know, like make it make it a little fun for yourself. Why don't you shoot some dudes with that bolt action rifle right there? There you go. Where are the rest of these motherfuckers? Oh, no, wait, I don't, I don't want that action. There you go, I want that action. All right. 
the deal. Salvage some stuff. Some, some Take a spark single plug. screw spark plug. out of this weird One generator. Free to go. Spark plug, entry. baby. Oh, spark plug. Of course. Because okay. German spark plugs are compatible with British machinery. Yep. Uh, what do you have in your box? <laughs> Switch to C. C. Rigotti trench model. Yeah, what is this? C. Rigotti trench model. Okay, we got a box magazine coming out the bottom. Um, an extended bolt that looks like it's some kind of a prototype. Oh, yeah, totally. Like, this is a prototype semi-automatic rifle. Yeah. I'm telling you guys, like, 90% of the guns in here are prototypes that never actually made it to the battlefield, but they're cool to see and play around with. And I gotta hand it to the guys who designed all of these guns and all the animations for the reloading and everything. They really paid attention. Like, all these guns are accurate to how they actually were in real life. I'm skeptical as to if they actually made it to the battlefield, but they're accurately represented. You know, the parts are on the right sides. The reloading animations look great. I, I gotta hand it to them. I, I, I'm sorry. I have to look at the controls. This is bugging me. Yeah, take your take your time. The C. Rigotti you know? is an early automatic rifle created in the final years of the 19th century by Amery... Oh, oh, hold on. Amery? Amerigo C. Rigotti, mm. an officer in the Royal Italian Army. Although the rifle was never officially adopted by any military, it was tested extensively by the Italian Army during the lead-up to the First World War. Never officially adopted, guys. And yet here it is. You know, it's a cool looking design. I mean, you can tell that it was a bolt action rifle that they retrofitted with this weird uh, blowback design. You know, people were thinking about this stuff. Yeah. Ooh, 1911 with a silencer. That's very interesting. So this is from World War One. Uh huh. And it says here the rifle was gas operated and had selective fire capabilities, single shots or fully automatic. Oh. Yeah. Available information. There we go. It's SMLA sparse. Mark III Marksman. That's cool. That's a British bolt action, right there. Um, the bolt actually cocks on the return stroke of the bolt. So to cycle the weapon, you'd lift up the bolt, pull it to the rear, push it back forward, and then lock it down. And the bolt cocks on the push back. And what that does for you is it means that you can basically cycle it faster because you're not having to cock the bolt when you raise the bolt um, um, from the stationary position. Oh, so it's just like... Yeah, So so dudes could get off like... Basically, British military doctrine was you should be able to fire 10 rounds in 20 seconds. Like, at least. Okay. That's an interesting optic. It's a neat little scope. Yeah. little triangle. I actually kind of like that. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Kind of reminds me of a Dragnov. Yeah, yeah. Again, guys, I'm not too sure how accurate this optic is. You know, this looks like some pretty advanced, compact uh, glass to just be running around in World War One. Right, like, what's up with that weird little housing? Like, it almost seems like this should have, uh, like, infrared, or not infrared, but... Um, some kind of electronics. Yeah, or, or like on. some type of, you know, like night vision capability or something like that. Like I got a Guerre 98 sniper. Okay. With the side-mounted scope. Yeah. Interesting. So what uh, what, sir, uh, what purpose does this serve, the side-mounted scope? Uh, is it just so you can switch from, uh, well, from scope to iron sights? Or? Well, basically what it's there for is this is still a bolt action rifle and so all the oh. cartridges have to get loaded in through the top right, right they all right. get ejected through the top didn't even so think about that if you've got a scope in the way of that then it's going to cause you some problems right, right, the right. Mosin Nagant kind of got around that by having a side mounted um, bracket for your scope and then mounting the scope a little bit higher 
Um, but it did mean that you couldn't use stripper clips in this Mosin Nagant anymore. You had to reload in each round by hand, one right. by one. Right, right. Um, I guess they thought that they could get around that by just putting the scope on the side, huh. which is fine. It just means that you have to be really exact with zeroing in your scope. Yeah. I mean, you're not going to be able to really, like, raise your scope above your target with any kind of reliability. At least in the real world. In the game, it works flawlessly. Right. Course. No, but I see what you're saying because it's side mounted. So, yeah, it's just so not okay, the same. You, you shot that dude in the back with, like, a full power 30 caliber rifle. Cartridge. And he didn't go down. Yeah. I feel like, you know, that's probably due to the difficulty in the game. Like, maybe if you set it to, like, harder difficulty, single shots will take people down. But it would probably take you down, too. You know, I mean... I don't know. If I got shot with one of those bullets, I'm done. Yeah. Like, I'm calling it quits. Even if I'm not mortally wounded, I'm just going to lie down and just accept it. And be like, okay. No, there's me. no way you're going to keep fighting when you take a fucking injury like that. No. Like. Oh, he's launching shit at you. See what those steel plates are on that artillery gun for now, Teo? Yes, I do. Uh huh. Get him on Aim the run. Yeah. 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 Oh, man. Off. Daniel Edwards. Daniel Edwards. 1918. Deadwards. Died. Deadwards. Dead he was only 23 years old. What a lad. What a lad. Ooh. Rough. Yeah. So. Rough stuff. What are you starting back up with? You got Thanks. these weird, uh, this weird prototype semi auto. Uh, rifle here. Oh, yeah. Oh, click the right stick to do a bayonet charge. <laughs> Yo! Nice. Hey. <clears throat> Guys, this episode is brought to you by uh, Miller High Life. The champagne of beers. Um, the can says that it was established in 1903, which is a long time ago. That means that this guy that Teo is currently playing as could have drank a Miller High Life before he went into battle. Very, very likely. That's that's oh. a probability. A long time ago does not rule out whenever this happened. You know? Which, yeah. That's yeah. a long time ago. Uh, Miller High Life is union made. It's uh, made in Milwaukee, Wisconsin by Miller Brewing Company. It's got no additives, no preservatives. Just the cool, clean, crisp flavor of Miller beer. If you've got the time, we've got the beer. Miller beer. That's right. So uh, can we? Can I mention this as one of our sponsors? Uh huh. Yeah. You, you sure can. Well, this is also brought to you by some of California's finest, most finest cannabis. Only the Only best. Only the best for our talent. Grown here in, the in secret place, California. You know, look for the best and smoke the rest. You know, and enjoy your video games. That's right. I like this. I like this gun. This gun's fun. Yep. There you go. So See, I, I do not know why, but I put in a full stripper clip of five and then topped it off by hand. Yep. Because you only had like three more to go. Yep. I appreciate that. That's a detail. That is a nice detail. I like that. I'm gonna steal this horse. You should kill that guy who's shooting at you. There you go. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. You're on fire. Rock the Casbah. Not fire, my way. dude. 
How did they catch oh, me on oh, fire? Because oh, oh, oh. he has one of them uh, Some dude's got a flamethrower type deal. Control. Yeah. You got Elon Musk over here. You know, catch him on fire. Well, actually, it's a roofing torch with an uh, airsoft gun. Oh, wow. Uh, roofing uh, torch. I died again. Dead words. Annual dead words. <sighs> okay. All right. I got to pass off the sticks. Somebody right. else has got to handle Pass this. them sticks. All right, Teo. Right, so yeah. um, Dylan's taking uh, the reins. I, I, yeah. Dylan's uh, taking the reins. Let's see what's going on, buddy. I've lost my touch. There's also... Uh, you know what you need? You need this so you can pontificate better. There you go. Enjoy some of California's finest grown cannabis. Here's a little uh, flamaggio. I'm shooting this dude. He's yeah, so thrower. that's, uh, I feel like a flamethrower doesn't make you more impervious to bullets. No, it turns you into Iron Man. Right. You know. I mean, in reality. Come on. Are you serious? Wow. Yeah, so. All right, we're going we're gonna to take one quick break to pause. Not only because we suck, because, but be also there's a minor te technical difficulty I would want to address um so we'll be right back sit after tight these ladies messages. and gentlemen and i'm bonair folks 